<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey. Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of kids, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruining the world. Well, you're here now. Just as they're shooting at us! Cut the rope, Irish! It's a colonel! You got the wrong man! And this fellow's got a nasty crunch. It was only a little bit painful. All right, I'll reach this throat and tinderbox once we lose these sons of bitches. Quick, grab that shooter at the back of the raft. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. Come on, man! Oh. I'll drop the hundred fools like you! Oh, my good lord! I simply can't afford to go There's the idiot. So much for a warm Mexican welcome. Look out for those two fellow on the horses. the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. Got your hand on you! What the hell did you do to these fellas?
This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that polky? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Behind that big rock! Down, 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 down. I haven't stepped foot in this country and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with the Atari Fighter Outlaw. to be getting out of that floating death pack. Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, uh, saw him shoot a man. Uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, 
You could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man. But not a bad one.
No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> What are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to... Spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... 
with Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Let's try one more time. Remember what I told you. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Come on, I've got another idea. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Ain't we gonna spook the town folk with all this shooting? Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Done, sir. You've been well. I have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest. Who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back? I place good money on me still being the fastest. Hi, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Get up! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. You are all muertos! Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easily. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Wicked's partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Dios mío, viene más. Estamos muertos. You're getting it now. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. 
I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are! Damn right they don't, my sourcastic little apprentice. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. <laughs> 